Yo, what is up you guys? Brian here from Bang Out Volleyball and we are watching another video for Haikyuu. Uh, today is episode 5, season 1, A Coward's Anxiety. And I guess recently we've been watching a lot of videos where characters are having some anxiety with like their past or like how they play in the present. Um, so I'm hoping to enjoy this video and I'm sure I will. And again, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Also leave a comment so that we can... Uh, uh, show it on the videos in the future as we grow and watch the videos together and build a community around here. We also have social media links down in the description below. And if you guys want to check out my volleyball gear for open gyms, my nutrition as well, that will be in the description as well. Anyway, let's get started with the video and uh, enjoy. Who's this? Kageyama. Oh, dude, he's aware of everything. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is a little recap, uh, recap, re recap from before. Oh, 2423. This is their chance to win it. See, it just takes a while during the game just to like get chemistry with your hitters too. I've never seen anyone take a toss to the face. Oh my gosh. Oh, Tsukushima got juked. <laughs> and Ata's like a little hype man over here. <laughs> they won the game though, let's go! I think they're going to set three. Oh, a dump on 3v3? That's so mean. But whatever it is, so in. Oh, Tsukushima is taking this seriously. And he's still getting juked. Kageyama's on fire right now. Wow. See, now that I think about it, like Kageyama's like a really good setter. And it's probably just he's just way out of his league compared to everyone else that's like around him. Previously, previously. Like in when he was in junior high. They won! Oh, let's go, dude. They grinded for that. All part of Daichi's plan. Mm. 
Dang. Oh my gosh, look at that arm swing. He's just getting his arms way up. Oh, good sportsmanship from Hinata. My hand. <laughs> what? He did take it pretty seriously. You're right. He did try after all. to sign whether they're on the team or not. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, they got him. Uh... <clears throat> I believe it's jerseys, I believe. Usually when you see a box, it's a gift of jerseys. Let's go. Welcome to the club. Wear it, wear it. Dang, they look like badasses. Let's go. Welcome to the club. That's so awesome, though. Dude, it just feels really nice to wear like good uniform and just feel part of a group. It's just it just feels really really nice. Who's this guy? Oh, but Josiah. Josiah. Sorry, I have a friend whose name is jo Josiah, so. Oh, so he's like a manager. I guess he's like a manager. Or is he a teacher? Hmm. He probably has a lot of connections when it comes to like all the other schools. So he's kind of like... I guess I would say he's kind of like the athletic director. Hmm. 
That's right, his first official match with a actual team that knows how to play. Oh my god, he must be so nervous. Sugawa Sara. Sugawa Sara san. I'm gonna assume he's. Oh, he's concerned about like him taking over his spot. Damn him. Wait after. Like, just imagine being a, a player that's been playing with your team for a while, then all of a sudden a new person comes in who's better than you, just takes your spot, and then does this. It's very, it's very humbling and very respectful that Kageyama's doing this. Oh, that's why. Ooh, pork buns. Oh, his old teammates. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make it so intense. That means his teammates are gonna see whether he's changed or if he's the same. So hopefully he can show them that he's changed as a player, but you never know what happens on the court. I don't mean a yawn. <laughs> hey, he's hungry. I'd probably be Hinaza, just eat my food when I'm ready to go. Oh, let's watch this. Okay, so these are the lineups. Uh, so it looks like that's the 10 foot line. So it looks like they're starting in row three. We got setter outside, which is also a wing spiker in this show. We got middle blocker go. <coughs> so they got the line, sorry. They got the lineup set up properly. Um, who's Enoshida? Uh, but yeah, it looks like it definitely looks like they're starting in row three. 
選手の引っ張り。月島はうちでは数少ない長身選手だ。正常相手がどれくらい戦えるか見たい。Uh oh. Oh, he's not in the game. We haven't seen much from him, so we don't know what really he's capable of. Ah.、Uh -huh. The athletic director is still learning the sport. Love it. We're just gonna call him athletic director because I don't know his actual like position. Wing Spiker. Here in America, we call them the outside as well. Middle blocker. Damn, he's already giving him a nickname the ultimate decoy. No, he's not. Oh, Yamagachi is his name. Okay, so he knows that Inata's quick attacks would be very useful when you're in a game. And then he probably has another plan for Tsukishima. So I'm assuming he's just, he's just learning to use their strengths against the opponents. Oh. He just broke him. <laughs> yeah, if you, give, if you give too much information to a new person, they kind of overload and break down. So you got to make sure you really put it into like layman's terms. And I guess the easier way to say it would be obviously dumb it down where they can absorb the information. That's, a, that's also known as a soft touch. So sometimes you could do that on purpose too. Like if you're tall enough or you jump high enough over a blocker, you can actually block them straight down. Everyone knows that. But if you're shorter, you have to play it differently because you won't be able to get a block most of the time. So you want to make sure you at least have your hands out where you can get a touch to make it easier for your teammates to、uh, dig the ball. Just like that. He's already freaking out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, they overloaded him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sawara. The Abba Josa has a really good team. How does everyone know? I thought people weren't supposed to know about that.
Oh, this is our like little team room. Oh, th I think this is a uh, Tanaka's room, right? No, it's definitely a team room then. I guess this is this is their version of a locker room. I'm, I'm assuming. Oh my god, he's so nervous. Oh my gosh, he's not experienced and he's freaking out. That's completely normal. Oh my god, he's... This is gonna be so rough. I remember those days when I was just so excited for my game. I don't think I even slept before my first game. I was just too nervous and so excited. You got this, Hinata. You got this. Ah, Tsukushima, dude. Come on, man. Grow up. <laughs> Kageyama's still learning more about himself. Zero! Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, zero self awareness. He's got lots of things to work on. Oh no. <clears throat> it's one of those sleepless nights where you can't sleep. It's like you have your eyes closed and then you can't sleep. You have your eyes open, you still can't sleep. It's just it's just rough. Like what do you do? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, this is his old team. That's right, he's staying focused. Yeah, there's definitely those types of players where like at night you're like really focused or you're either anxious. Sometimes, I, I, I would say most people have both. There's like a middle ground to it. You just gotta be able to, to control both and manage both actually. Oh my god, he looks sick. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He is literally freaking out. Um, hopefully we'll see some gameplay. Hopefully, like he loses his nerves, um, and he's, and he's not as nervous when he's at the game. Cause sometimes people get nervous before the game, but during the game, their nervousness gets gone and they just become excited to play and just really focus into the game. Uh, but we'll have to see that in the next episode and future videos. So anyway, if you guys again are new here, 
please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this episode. Uh, leave a like and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.